After experiencing the highs of the Olympics in 2015 and reaching the semi-finals of the African Women's Championship in 2016, Banyana Banyana have come down to earth ahead of a relatively quiet period. Interim head coach Desiree Ellis says the training camp is the perfect opportunity to introduce new talent to the existing structures. Those players that we see in the SESA League and bring them to an environment with Banyana players so that, that we can see how they can gel because it would be easy just to select 24 new players but then you're having to teach from scratch all over again. Several stalwarts like captain Janine van Veek and veteran Amanda Lamini are missing from the training squad due to club commitments overseas. But the talismanic Rafil Wejane feels there's a new energy in the group. There's quite a pool of players in the Sasol League who also want to be in the national team. But uh, coming here today and being part of the national team, it's, it's uh, encouraging and also motivating for the new players and the team as a whole. Ellis is determined to find some continuity by holding regular camps so that her charges head into a busy 2018, prepared and avoid committing the same mistakes from previous campaigns where they missed out on qualification. I've been there in 2014 when we had chance after chance against Ivory Coast and they stole it at the end and uh, we as a group don't want to go through that feeling again so the idea is to start uh, maintaining what we have and maybe up the level, get in a few strikers um, because we've shown what we can do. There remains uncertainty over the future of interim head coach Desiree Ellis with Safa yet to unveil their preferred candidates. Until then, it's all about planning for the AWC qualifiers next year. And with no fixtures on the horizon just yet, it certainly is a transition period for the national team. CS Duplessis, CGTN, Johannesburg.